There's a couple exciting Nintendo Switch stories we gotta talk about today, starting with Pokemon Legends Arceus being the fastest ever selling entry in the series and how big of a deal this is for the future of the franchise as a whole. Then the big talking point for today's video is a very exciting update around the release timeline for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join some bro nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. And as I mentioned guys, we're covering a couple different stories today and we gotta kick it off with a discussion around Pokemon Legends Arceus and how massive of a success this entry is proving to be as obviously this was a big departure from what we've typically seen Game Freak stick to over the years as they've really held the tradition traditional Pokemon formula since the original red and blue back in the Game Boy era. Like it's a pretty tried and true formula that we have of course seen change over time, but not in a massive new direction like what Legends Arceus set out to do. And I was very excited for this change the entire time leading into the launch of this game. I did kind of realize while I was enjoying Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and I was specifically playing Shining Pearl, I realized that that formula was getting just a little bit old for me as I have been around as a Pokemon fan for numerous years and while I do still enjoy it and think it's a great formula and it's not that I want to see it completely go away I really did want to see some action RPG elements added into the Pokemon franchise and that's what they did and they did it very successfully with a lot of great side quests main quests, story moments like I'm only about 15 hours into the game so far but I'm loving every single minute of my playthrough and to kick off this conversation and discuss why this is such a good indication that we may see more games like this in the future I do want to quickly hop over to VGC and read through the exact article where they reference exactly what has happened here with the starting sales of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So let's quickly read through this together. Pokemon Legends Arceus is the fastest selling series entry on Switch. The critically acclaimed revamp has sold 6.5 million copies in its first week it's claimed. Nintendo has claimed that Pokemon Legends Arceus has sold 6.5 million copies in its first week. A tweet posted up on the official Nintendo of America Twitter said thank you to more than 6.5 million explorers worldwide who have already embarked on an exciting new adventure in Pokemon Legends Arceus. As noted by Nyko Partners analyst Daniel Ahmed, Legends Arceus is now the fastest selling Pokemon game for Switch. Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl each sold 6 million units in their first week. The news is particularly notable because Legends is a standalone title as opposed to Pokemon's usual two version releases which can result in increased sales as particularly dedicated fans buy both variations. Compared to Nintendo's latest financial data for game sales up to the end of 2021, this means that in its first week, Legends has already sold more than such titles as Mario Party Superstars, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, New Pokemon Snap, and Metroid Dread. So one thing to emphasize after reading that is as mentioned, it is one game, not two, and I can attest to buying both versions because I've done it multiple times over the course of these Pokemon releases. And you typically have two games that are very similar to each other with some version specific Pokemon that of course you can trade to yourself or back in the day, you used to have to use a link cable to trade the different versions and stuff between your Game Boys and things. And you know, Pokemon does definitely double dip in sales a lot when it comes to their fan base because the hardcore fans almost always buy both versions. I will tell you guys that seeing Legends Arceus off to this fantastic start in total sales as really the only other game that sold this well right out of the gate, even in the Switch's history, I think is Animal Crossing, which is all, obviously we know how that game is doing. I mean, Legends Arceus could be poised to be one of the best selling Switch titles of all time, definitely in that top four or five conversation by the end of the life cycle, or I guess the end of the sales of Legends Arceus. So we'll have to continue to watch and see, but this is absolutely the type of signal that Game Freak needs to continue down this path because I definitely feel that Legends Arceus is an amazing experience. I don't think it's the perfect game yet. I think this is the groundwork and ground level foundation that the Pokemon company needed to put into this franchise to really take it to that next level. Maybe give it that true Breath of the Wild moment as it already feels like a big step towards that, but I don't think it has to be a Breath of the Wild. I think it can be structured similar to how Legends Arceus is and be just 
just as enjoyable with just some more refined mechanics, graphical improvements, and different things that we will see them ultimately add to the series over the course of time. I want to hear from you guys on how you're enjoying your Legends Arceus experience so far, if you have picked it up, and if you haven't picked it up, you know, maybe what's the reasons behind that? Do the graphics bother you? I know it definitely bothers some people, but to anybody that's bothered by the graphics, I'll tell you right now, the gameplay is more than worth it and more than justifiable for the 50 or $60 price point. Buy it at Walmart. You'll get it for 50 bucks, by the way, physically, if you buy your games physically, of course, but you have to go in store. You can't order it online. Just a disclaimer there. But regardless, I want to hear from you on if you haven't picked it up, the reasons why, and if you have picked it up, what you think of it so far. And if you hope we get more legend style games going forward, because I definitely do. I hope this is the new mainline formula and maybe they incorporate a little bit more of the classic mechanics that some of the classic fans like to see. I think there's a balance point with this new format, but I want to hear from you guys on all things Pokemon Legends Arceus in the comments down below. Now, the big talking point for today's video has to do with Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 and a rather telling update that we can actually discern from the last investors meeting that, of course, we just covered on the channel yesterday. Go watch yesterday's video after this. If you haven't, we have a lot of the breakdowns covered on what was talked about in this financial investors meeting. And of course, as time has gone on, more official Q&A translations have come out and more graphs that were shown from Nintendo to their investors as part of this presentation have become visible now. And one very reassuring update around Zelda Breath of the Wild 2's development is that they currently still have it slated in their investor slide that it will be out in 2022 as we can quickly look through the slide together that lists kind of their roadmap and which games are still to be determined and which games are slated for 2022. You will see here launch schedule of primary Nintendo products by region extracts January 2022. So you of course have Pokemon Legends Arceus that we just discussed earlier in the video, Triangle Strategy coming out on March 4th of 2022, Kirby and the Forgotten Land March 25th of 2022, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp Spring of 2022, Splatoon 3 slated for 2022, the big one we're talking about, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it says Temp beneath it but has 2022 as the date, Bayonetta 3 2022, and then of course Metroid Prime 4 Temp and that is TBA as we know that game will probably have quite a bit more development to go through before it is ready to actually launch but looking at that list it is reassuring to me that in 2022 as we are now in there even though it's hard to believe like we're in the year of 2022 we are in february now and this investors meeting of course just took place and they are still saying to all of their financial holders and backers of the nintendo company that Breath of the Wild 2 is on track for a 2022 release, so I am very hopeful we will get more information on it soon. Of course, we have all of the rumors and speculations suggesting that we are around the corner from another Nintendo Direct. Whether or not we see it at that event remains to be seen. I am very hopeful that we will get some kind of update at the February event, but I'm more tempering my expectations towards it being an E3 media blowout, as I think that's when they'll show detailed gameplay with a treehouse segment where they really break down all the new mechanics, all the new areas in the sky like we'll probably get a rather large reveal as we typically see Nintendo do with Zelda games leading into their big launches and this is kind of unprecedented territory for Nintendo because Breath of the Wild was not just the best-selling game by a little bit it more than doubled or just about doubled the best-selling Zelda games of all time up to that point which I believe was Twilight Princess if I'm not mistaken and so that's a big deal for Nintendo it essentially elevated the series to this new level of mainstream where it's selling realistically the same number as their mainline Mario games back in the day when Mario was the definitive mascot for Nintendo. It's kind of crazy that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is where it's at in total sales as that game's over like 43 million. Or I think if you add in the Wii U versions as well, it's actually over 50 something million, which is just crazy. But regardless, while Zelda is not quite up to those numbers, it is one of their main franchises right there with even Super Smash Bros in terms of total sales. And that's a very big deal. And so Nintendo's going to want to handle this launch very strategically and it would make a lot of sense to make Breath of the Wild the kind of fall or holiday season title to capitalize on all of that additional retail foot traffic so regardless of when we get an exact update on when we will see this game launch that re I mean that's all for debate and speculation maybe it's at the February direct maybe it's at the summer direct or E3 whatever ends up happening with that but I do hope that Nintendo gives us more information on this game soon if you guys haven't been around on the channel for a while I am like Zelda is my 
all-time favorite gaming series. I absolutely love Breath of the Wild, but I've also loved the series ever since Ocarina of Time, and then I went back and replayed all of the 2D ones before that. I became fully immersed with this franchise, and I love the classic formula, and I love what they're doing with Breath of the Wild, and I really hope that in this game, we see a little bit of those merged together, because that open world formula, while I enjoyed it so much for what it was, I still miss some of the traditional style dungeons, and I know a lot of people will say, well, then it makes it not very open world, and I think that they could find a way to maybe sprinkle in dungeons and have like a portion that you go through a little bit more linear but then of course it opens back up into the large open landscape and we got to see what they're doing with these islands on the sky and whether or not the lore ties into stuff like with skyward sword like this could be a very exciting and will be a very exciting entry in the zelda franchise and so you know we just have to sit here and wait but it is looking great right now if you are a zelda fan that this game is still on track for the year of 2022 and is most likely looking at this point in time like it will not be delayed into a 2020 23 title like some were speculating that it may be but i want to hear from you guys at this point in the video around both the stories we talked about today but specifically zelda breath of the wild 2 what are you hoping we see in terms of gameplay enhancements and gameplay changes are you a fan of traditional dungeons and would you like to see maybe some of them make a return in this installment like i would would you like to see a few less shrines because i do feel like the shrines got a little bit repetitive as well in the original breath of the wild or do you just want more of what that original breath of the wild experience was with of course the sky islands that we already know to expect and if you were just to go out on a limb and guess when do you think we will actually see the official announcement for the release date and the title for zelda breath of the wild 2 so i do look forward to hearing from you guys on both the stories we talked about today as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join Sunburn Nation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below. Hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today. And make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Sunburn Nation, out.